Caffeine is the most widely used drug in the world. It's found in food, beverages, and over-the-counter drugs. Caffeine is said to have both positive and negative effects on physical and mental performance. But the timing of consuming caffeine, the form of caffeine, your current caffeine use, and the amount of caffeine consumed has to be carefully considered. The positive effects of caffeine on the, set, on the body is that they can decrease pain and the perception of fatigue, which allows for training at higher intensities. Decreased perception of exertion during submaximal training can allow athletes to engage in longer, strenuous strength training exercises. It increases improved performance and endurance and sustained high intensity training. Examples, running and swimming. Increased body coordination and the ability to focus and concentrate and sustain training even longer with higher intensities are all potential benefits. However, according to the NCAA, coffee as it is also known as a stimulant, is banned from being used at the collegiate level. Caffeine found in the bloodstream, even as low as 15 micrograms per milliliter, corresponding to ingestion of about 500 milligrams, the equivalent of six to eight cups of coffee, two to three hours before a competition, results in a positive drug test. Energy drinks, pills, and sports performance enhancers may contain unlabeled amounts of caffeine with other stimulants. Putting all these together puts your risk of potential health hazards. More caffeine is not necessarily better. More caffeine can cause shakes, nausea, headaches, depression, fatigue, as well as irregular heart rate and increased blood pressure. Caffeine consumed without adequate fluids can negatively impact thermal regulation in athletes who are training in hotter areas. Now, doses found to have a beneficial effect on performance ranges from 3 to 8.1 milligrams per kilogram, which practically translates to 1.5 to 4 and 2.0 to 5.5 ounces of cups of coffee or caffeine for a 50 kilogram woman and a 7 kilogram, 70 kilogram male, respectively. The NC, like I said earlier, the NCAA has outlawed or has banned substances according to the stimulation guides that caffeine has on the body. The current body of research suggests that the ingestion of coffee 60 minutes before exercise may help to improve performance in endurance sports such as cycling and running, swimming. However, the potential hazards outweigh the potential benefits especially at the collegiate level.